In our previous videos in this series, we walked through the levels of documentation and implementation diagrams. But something that's important to point out is that's just one diagram style. There's actually a whole second style called marketing strategy and sales. And we're going to be looking through those in these next few videos. Now, for marketing strategy and sales, what we're going to do is help viewers understand business concepts, processes, or visions for a solution. And even though the purpose and intended audience might be a little bit different, there are some similarities too. So like both styles have four levels, for example. And the first level is a big picture overview, and the other levels after that get increasingly more granular. So what we're going to do in this video is take a look at level one. Let's go ahead and get started. So if we were building a documentation and implementation diagram, a level one would typically be a system landscape. And we actually have another video about how to build one of those if you want to check it out. But since we're building a marketing strategy and sales diagram, we're going to build a business capability map, which is typically the highest level view in this style. Now, there are a couple other types of diagrams you could build too, such as a blueprint or a value map, for example. But we'll do a business capability map here. Now, the audience for this is going to be business and executive stakeholders and technical influencers. So we're keeping it at that high level. And we're going to use this type of diagram to show business capabilities and high level product positioning, but without too many details, because we want to be able to show the big picture without overwhelming our audience with a bunch of little granular details that actually belong in other diagrams. So just a quick note, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how to use the specific cards and icons that are in our shape library, because we have another video that's dedicated to that. So make sure to check out our kit of parts video if you haven't already seen it and you can learn a little bit more. What we're going to focus on here are the specific elements that you're going to find in this diagram. So this is a business capability map for a retail commerce digital transformation project. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the top. We can see that we've got our business drivers. And under those, we've got our related capabilities. And we can see that the capabilities have some attributes, but we're not really giving away a lot of detail other than that, maybe going that one level down. And then below that on the bottom, we've got our Salesforce platform capabilities that are able to, that can enable the, uh, the business capabilities. So if we take a step back, now we can look at our completed diagram and we can see kind of, like I said earlier, this is a big picture view. It doesn't go into a lot of detail, but it gets the message across about what it is and what we're trying to display without really overwhelming the viewers. Okay. So that's a quick overview of how to create a level one marketing strategy and sales diagram. In our next video, we're going to zoom in a little bit further into the same scenario and create a level two diagram. So make sure to check that one out and make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.